There are many ways to see the world. Everybody has a different way, and that's a choice we have. And while life is constantly moving, there are moments that stay behind. Photography is those moments. It's like a digital memory for mankind. And when we look where we've been, we can see where we're going. So, whether the subject matter is in a face or a frog or a mountain, every aspect of our world has a beauty and an ultimate essence that's connected to us through our eyes. The world needs healing, and it's with this in mind I'd like to guide your focus from here towards the understanding of how our vision can affect our future. Now. To just remind you guys that it's not just videos and, and, and photos and uh, recipes on Patreon. It's also my book, At Any Given Moment, which is an interesting read and an interesting little visual journey. Sort of like a bit weedy garden style. So I'm going to go back to the studio and I'm going to read it in my sound studio and put a few pictures with the book and then I'll say catch you later guys. See you on the next video. Being a photographer has made me focus on the small detail. Every time, trying to find the story in it, the core of it. My eyes have touched so many faces and shapes and different places. All of it's gone into my mind. And while I sleep at night or in the shadow of a tree, the memory juice puts all the light together into visions when I ask to see. And as I quieten my mind, the sorted streams of light, they get changed around in different ways and end as my insight. In sight. Sight from the inside sorted in another order, put in another slot, resulting in potentially the next unique shot. This is my survival, putting it together with the same speed a boomerang is thrown towards its target. I think the source is all these things I've uncovered along the way, and no doubt much, much more. Somewhere deep in there is an image bank, I'm sure, a biological image bank. And when my intentions are aimed towards the comfort of the tribe, this somewhat mystical experience makes it easier to make things happen. People help. You meet the right things at the right time. Everything becomes synchronized to your movements and your thoughts and your actions. Being creative and thinking pictures is for me like the hunter and the kangaroo. It's been a matter of survival to catch a glimpse of something interesting something unique at any given moment. I never know when the phone will ring with my next job and I really know what my next job will be. All I know is that I have to go in, find the story, the core value and get out again, preferably with a memory on paper worth looking at. After all, people are paying for it. So if the way I see something can make a difference to the way you see it, then let me think of a good picture for the last page to end this book and help explain the whole story in one single shot. This next and last part of the story is my vision. The one I had when the dragonfly disappeared into the blue. With this vision I hope to inspire and encourage others towards a consciousness that can look and see the true essence of any given moment. Have a nice day and I'll catch you later.